Hey, it's Stacy here, and today I want to go over the top 10 cancer causing foods, foods you want to avoid. Did you know that according to the American Cancer Society, there'll be more than 1.8 million new cancer cases diagnosed in the United States this year? Although no special food or special diet or supplement can prevent cancer, some foods may lower the risk, such as leafy green vegetables, berries, and whole grains. However, there are also foods that may increase a person's risk for getting certain types of cancer. By eliminating or getting rid of certain types of foods from our diet, we may be able to reduce our chances of developing cancer. I'm gonna tell you about a couple of foods, 10 to be specific, that can actually lower your risk of getting cancer by avoiding these specific types of foods. So stay tuned. The first food you want to avoid is processed meats. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Americans are eating more meat than ever, around 222 pounds per year per person. Processed meats including sausage, hot dogs, pepperoni, packaged lunch meat, beef jerky, ham, and bacon may increase the odds of developing cancer. The World Health Organization warns that daily consumption of even one hot dog or a few strips of bacon increases cancer risk by 18%. Processed meats are any that have been cured, smoked, salted, canned, or dried. They contain nitrates, preservatives added to enhance flavor, and deter bacteria growth. The second food you want to avoid is hot beverages. A study in the International Journal of Cancer showed a connection between esophageal cancer and hot beverages. Consuming a beverage such as a hot tea at temperatures are higher than 140 degree causes thermal damage to the cells that line the esophagus and may be responsible for this increased risk. Those who drink hot beverages before letting them cool and also consume alcohol and smoke cigarettes increase their chances of developing esophageal cancer five times. The third food you want to avoid is overcooked and burnt food. Some overcooked or burnt foods, mainly meats from chemicals called hydrocyliac amines or polycyliac aromatic hydrocarbons. These chemicals are the result of amino acids, sugars, and creatine reacting at high temperatures. The juices that drip down onto the open flame or heat source create smoke that releases PAHS, which then adhere to the surface of the meat. Meats cook at temperatures of 300 degrees Fahrenheit or above, or those meats are cooked for a very long period of time. The juices that drip down onto the open flame Those meats form HCAS. Acrolamides form when starchy foods cook until they are dark brown. Some studies link the consumption of these compounds to ovarian and endometrial cancers. Another beverage to avoid is alcohol beverages. Even small amounts of alcohol increase the risk of developing cancer. According to the American Cancer Society, alcohol consumption is linked to 5.6 of all new cancers and 4% of cancer deaths. Heavy or regular alcohol use also increases the likelihood of developing cancer of the mouth, pharynx, larynx, esophagus, liver, colon, and rectum. Genetics play a role in a person's chances of getting cancer as a result of drinking alcohol. Genes encode the enzymes involved in metabolizing alcohol. Individuals of East Asian heritage may carry a version of that gene that speeds the conversion of alcohol to a toxic chemical called acetaldehyde. Those who carry this gene have a higher chance of developing esophageal cancer. Another product to consider avoiding is dairy. 
Milk and other dairy products like cheese are high in saturated fat and cholesterol, but studies show that the calcium they contain may lower the risk of collateral and other types of cancer. However, a high intake of dairy products may increase the possibility of prostate cancer, according to the Physician's Health Study, a 28-year study of more than 21,000 people. Subjects who consume more than 2.5 servings of dairy products each day were more than likely to develop prostate cancer. Avoid refined carbohydrates and sugars. People who eat a diet high in refined carbohydrates, such as white bread, white rice, pasta, soft drinks, and fruit juices, are more than likely to develop colon cancer than those who consume mostly whole grains and complex carbohydrates, such as fresh vegetables and fruits. Studies support the probability that high blood glucose and insulin levels in the body increase inflammation and along with it, the risk of cancer. Other foods to avoid are salt cured and pickled foods. Cancer studies in the United Kingdom note a higher incidence of cancer among those who regularly consume salt cured fish, a popular dish in China. Research also indicates that eating pickled foods may increase the risk of stomach cancer. According to a study in the American Association for Cancer Research Journal, of the 1 million new cases of gastric cancer diagnosed each year, more than half occur in Eastern Asia. Researchers noted that 50% greater likelihood of gastric cancer associated with the consumption of pickled foods with a higher number of cases in China and Korea. Another food to cut down on is red meat. Studies show that eating more than 18 ounces of red meat per week can increase the chance of collateral cancer. Some studies also link processed meats with a higher incidence of colon cancer. Doctors suggest introducing meat-free days and generally cutting back on the amount of red meat consumed. Also, you should avoid overcooking red meat, which produces chemicals that may increase the risk of collateral cancer. Another food you might want to avoid is microwavable popcorn. Popcorn is a fiber-rich, low-fat, healthy snack. But the lining of the bag used to make the microwavable popcorn contains a certain compound called PFC to resist the grease and prevent leaking. These PFCs break down into a chemical called PFOA. This chemical, some researchers believe, causes cancer. A majority of Americans have PFCs in their blood. But according to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, microwavable popcorn accounts for more than 20% of the PFOA levels in Americans. Another product you want to stay away from is food dyes. For many years, there has been controversy surrounding the use of food dyes. Numerous studies show that many dyes have an effect on laboratory animals. As a result, the government agencies have banned several types. The Food and Drug Administration has approved nine food dyes for the use in the United States, including red number three, red number 40, yellow number five, and yellow number six. Health researchers and food safety officials express concerns over their continued use but manufacturers continue to add them to candies, sports drinks, baked goods, salad dressings, and even medications. Research indicates that these dyes contain carcinogens such as benzodyne and cause cancer in lab animals. As these dyes do not enhance the nutritional quality or the safety of foods or medications, scientists continue to argue that they should not be added to food and products. And honestly, I have to agree with them. Nowadays, if you go to countries outside the United States, they have banned a lot of the foods that we sell in the United States. It makes you wonder where the priorities of the people of the United States are. Are we just about making money or are we about helping the people and helping people stay healthy and strong?